Welcome back to Close Up. We all know the road to the White House runs through New Hampshire, but these days the road to the Republican vice presidential nomination appears to be running through a New York City courtroom. This last week, as Donald Trump spent time in the defendant's chair for his alleged hush money trial, the parade of high-profile Republicans showed up to be seen at his side, all of them names that are in the mix for the so-called veep stakes to try to become Trump's vice presidential running mate, from Senator J.D. Vance to Governor Doug Burgum to former presidential contender Vivek Ramaswamy. It's definitely a new wrinkle in the process of finding a VP, and when asked about it last week, Governor Chris Sununu indicated he didn't think very highly of his fellow Republicans going to court to stand with Trump. Any individual willing to go that far is doing it for themselves and not the country. I think that much is obvious, right? I mean, that, that's it. That's it. It's about the loyalty and the showmanship of, of the moment as opposed to, you know, understanding that it's a hard job. I mean, anyone who, you know, when you're talking about the presidency, the vice presidency, those are massive responsibilities. That come that, that you know only the best of the best should really be rising to the top to grab it. Appreciate that maybe a lot of folks don't like the top two candidates on the ticket, but they weren't just put there arbitrarily. They were put there by the voters. So you have to respect that process. And it was the Democrats can complain about Joe Biden all they want. They chose Joe Biden. The Republicans can complain about Donald Trump all they want. They voted. Many states have voted and chose Donald Trump. So, so that being said. Um, no, I think there's just there is a lot of um, grandstanding and showmanship and all that sort of thing. And my sense is the majority of those individuals are, are kind of my concern is that the majority of those individuals are doing it for the wrong reason. In addition to the vice presidential contenders, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson also made the trip to Manhattan. The man second in line to the presidency calling the trial a quote sham and the court system corrupt. Trump is accused of having orchestrated payments to an adult film actress to suppress negative stories during his 2016 bid for the White House.